get a cost function for producing X gadgets, X of whatever item you want to imagine we're producing here. And so C of X is the cost in dollars of producing X gadgets. Just as we get started here, I want to point out that C of X equals 70 X would suggest that basically it's costing about $70 for each gadget we produce. The 0.01 X cubed penalizes us for large X values. It raises our cost dramatically for large X values. And that could be due to paying overtime for workers, needing to hire um, additional equipment to get the job done. There could be all sorts of reasons for that. And so let's imagine that economists have put together this cost function for producing these gadgets. And so I'd like to look at the derivative of this cost function. Derivative of 70x is 70. Derivative of 0.01x cubed is 0.03x squared. So I got 0.01 times 3x squared. And I want to talk about the real world interpretation of this result. This is looking at the rate at which the cost of producing gadgets increases as the number of gadgets increases. And so to do a specific example here. For example, if we are currently producing only 10 gadgets, let's say, I'm just using a small number to make the numbers um, reasonable looking. And actually to make this more reasonable, maybe this is 10 in some big unit, maybe this is 10,000 gadgets or whatever, maybe everything's being done here in thousands. But let's say x equals 10 in whatever unit then C prime of 10 is 70 plus 0.03 times 10 squared, which is 70 plus 0.03 times 100. So that's 70 plus 3, which is $73. And the idea here is that the rate at which the cost increases as we increase the production level at the moment at which our current production level is 10, that rate of increase is $73 per additional unit, for, per additional gadget that we produce. Okay, and let me try to put down a note to that effect here. So this is the, um, this is the rate of change in cost with respect to the number x of gadgets. And it's this rate of change when x equals 10 gadgets. And again, at the next moment where maybe we're now thinking of a different current production level and increasing from there, we would have a different increase um, being measured by C prime at that new level. So that concludes this tutorial and you'll see many other examples in your calculus class of real world applications of rates of change. And we have two further examples if you'd like to look at those as well.